And welcome back, friends. It's Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com, and we are playing Mad Max on the Xbox One. I think this is the Big Chief mission where we are heading deep into Scrotus's uh, lair, or whatever you want to call it. All right, gotta punch some fools in the face. That all the fools they can muster. All the fools indeed. Alright. So back this way. Wow, there's a lot back that way. I think it's it's indicating I should go this way, but I wanna see if there is it says that there's two relics and a bunch of scrap down here. Oh, maybe the ladder isn't the right way after all. So we're going to go back. Sorry, guys. So overall, I am I still like the game overall. Like, it's not the best game. It's not the strongest game, but there is a lot that they did right. There's someone here. Oh, gosh. I didn't realize I was dropping into badness here. That little dude's dead. I keep trying to turn around and punch this guy who's trying to punch me, and instead it doesn't go so well for me. All right, but we got them all. This is like one big maze of crap back here. Oh, hey, at least we found some food. Oh, yay, maggots, my favorite. It's really creepy. There's a little kid there holding a skull. Another history relic right over here. So I guess we're just going to be exploring this area out because every way that seems to be the quote-unquote right way. Okay, this just brought us full circle finally, so we can drop back down in there from here and continue on. This just helped us get a jump on those guys, which definitely not a bad thing. Not that these fights are overly hard, but uh, every little, every little uh, advantage helps. Why I always carry these, but I see there's a door right up there that this is probably meant for. So this is the quest, the mission, to get the Big Chief, which is, I think, the vehicle that Stank Gum drives, that big, like, semi or something like that. Which does make you wonder why there's not just a whole bunch of big semis to be had. Trophies. Yeah, that's the kind of trophy I was always hoping for. Alright, so we made it to the vehicle. All we gotta do now is punch some jokers in the mouth. This is just too painful. Alright, so these guys all have different attacks and they attack frequently, so anytime we get a Shiv Punisher, we're gonna take it. Alright, good. This is gonna be a big deal. Getting our Fury hits in. Gosh, gotta be better than that. Yeah, let's break that leg. Shiv it up. 
gosh. No more than like one punch on a dude before the next dude comes in and hits. Well, you're going to pay for that. All right, so we're going to start our next go around with Fury up. Get out. That looks like the way we drive out. There's the engine, I guess. I want to see if there's anything else we can find in here because I know there's a ladder. I'm sure there's some scrap or something that we can find. Okay, that is... That's just gas, actually. Well, I have gas. No, all right. Maybe we have to drop in there. Seems that that's going to be the deal. Probably need this gas to be able to get in. And the short way down. Oh, I dropped my gas. Let's refuel it. a nice full gas can. Wow. Let's get this thing to the hunchback. Drive to Deep Fry's Temple. Can I refuel this? I've got some gas left in here. I guess not. thing is crazy looking. Alright, that's one less vehicle here. So we have really good side burners, I guess, on this. This thing is pretty powerful. Yep, we're cooking them. I mean, they should be smart enough not to drive next to a a bomb, basically. We just smash that guy into into that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're just going to plow through who we can, but we can't take on all these guys, I don't think. Now, I am just going to keep this on because that works pretty well. Alright, we can't be that far away. We do got to get this thing to the goal line. So we got to drive a little better and worry more about getting to the finish line than wrecking every joker who tries to challenge us. Okay. So we made it to Deep Fryer's place. Yes, it's true! <laughs> oh, bring it forward to the... No, drew the slowly after life. There she is. Miss Christine, you remain awake. The big chief! <laughs> Don't get too excited. We need to get the hell out of here. Oh, yes. Yes. It's Scrotus, the immortal. He, he runs up to Pueblo. Yeah, but he thinks he's going to dismantle you piece by piece. 
I wed the big chief to the angel in a rev, and then we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the the deep fryer? I'm assuming he's called the deep fryer because of the way he's badly charred. It's got to be a warm chair. Equipped with indoor heating. Are we taking that the big chief's engine and putting it into our? Let's see. V8. I have a feeling our car is going to be pretty dang powerful now. Now it's your turn. Turn? What turn? No, I never promised you nothing. I was wrong about you. You're just like everyone else. A husk! An empty shell! You're nothing! Hey! Where is the child? She'll know this. Tell her to trust you. Tell her mama hope is waiting. Here. She'll be here. That's where the old one brought her. This desert dweller with his cloak and his staff. He'll have kept her safe. Tell her. Tell her she is Glory. Her name is Glory. <laughs> I don't care about the blood on your mouth. I never asked you your name. Max. My name is Max. <laughs> Romantic moment with Chum Bucket lurking around. Before we do that, we're gonna drink up, top off our health, and then refill our canteen here. Maybe we won't top it off, but we'll get pretty high up. But yeah, I would love, to, like I was saying, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments, uh, whether it's a question about the game or a request for a different game, anything at all, really. Uh, we don't get tons of comments, so we'll get back to you pretty quick. And um, above all, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll make sure to keep plenty more coming your way. Now this is... Alright. I got dudes all over me already. This was a cool intention. So... We have to... We have to get to Gastown. That is a long way to get with the vehicle with no repairs, so... We need to take this. Now it's fast. And it handles almost a little too well. He is now lacking wheels. We're going to have some more guys after us soon here, though. Momentarily, actually. we got to get to where we can target this guy. Yeah, you don't need tires neither, buddy. That would have been bad if that had been the final hit to kill me in this thing. But we made it. Said. All 
Alright, so now we have that vehicle. I don't think that's the way down, if I'm remembering right. I think it's over here. Yeah. We're going to enter the underbelly over here, so we're, we're taking out these uh, wasteland missions pretty quick, which I'm glad for. I know we're, on, we're definitely on the back nine of the game here. We're actually, I think, getting almost to the end. Like, I think we probably have, if I had to guess, four or five more episodes would be my guess. I don't know ex the exact number of how long this will take, but um, I know that there's only a handful of main missions left, so... So yeah, overall, like, unless there's some amazing story element, you know, I'd say that this game, I'm, I'm going to rate it as probably, like, um, a, somewhere, like, a mid-7s, 70%, probably like a 76, 78% out of 100, so it's not a bad game. I've enjoyed my time with it, but unless there's a crazy payoff in the story at the end, it's seems like gameplay for the sake of it. Oh, it's a world of critics. I wonder how I would be judged today. Oh, maybe I can go through here. Alright, so this is how we enter the underbelly. I don't remember exactly what we're doing down here, but this is where they sent us. Wait, did I see scrap? I did see scrap. Hooray. I would say that there must be. Must be indeed. Yeah, this right here. not like it's a real big puzzle. You turn the valve right next to the thing to turn off the fire. This one maybe you have to look a little bit more, but oh wow, that's not very hard. But this game, you know, if you don't have other games to play, this game is like the OCD person's dream. Very rarely has there been uh, more, <laughs> more stuff that you can uh, spend time just knocking out and upgrading yourself further and um, just it, it's almost it just goes on ad nauseum it's not all bad or anything it's just after a while I'm ready for something else so we can top the canteen off we topped our health off so there's a door right here we can pry open and I want to see if there's anything down this way like more scrap that we can find nope seems like a pretty straightforward ordeal oh wow so I have limited time with the gas Gotta open the valves. I'm not seeing... Oh, okay. Is it just gonna whittle away my health? Because I'm glad I topped off if that's the case. Uh, this place is a dark maze. Yep, let's get the flashlight on. It really is a maze. There are so many ways you can go. I don't know if there's a, uh, like a certain number of valves I have to find or something. This one keeps going up right here. Good night, man. All right, here is one valve. These valves have been closed on purpose. Someone wanted to stop the flow of gas.
while this does slowly whittle away at your health, it's not so dangerous that um, you're in really bad peril because, I mean, you know, we've been down here for a minute or two and it's only taken a little bit off our health. Now, I guess if you hadn't upgraded as fully as we had, yeah, I could see it being trouble. Okay. So I think we just have one valve left and you can kind of see that it's over this way somewhere. So I think we're probably heading in the right direction. Maybe. Seems like maybe right over this way. As long as I don't go under it. Nope, this looks like this looks like this is just the trick right here. And who would really want to wander these tunnels trying to find the last bit of scrap if you didn't find it naturally? <laughs> So my quest is now to exit this place. I'm hoping this is the right way. It's the right direction. But yeah, there's absolutely no way I'm going to look for... Oh, wow. <sighs> Finally. And we complete the mission where there is smoke. And we can now upgrade our Thunderpoon. And of course, Deep Fry has got a new mission available. We're going to go accept that quest, and then we'll end our mission here. As I was saying before, appreciate if you shoot us a thumbs up, a comment, and a subscription. Definitely uh, every little bit of support helps, so appreciate having you guys along for the ride here. Stop the flame! No man can stand against it! A world in the midst of this apocalypse. My most trusted acolyte has deviated. Speak straight. My architect, my greatest follower, he orchestrated for the gas to be turned off to steal the pilot light. Under my nose, he took the sacred artifact. And by the flame, he did forsake the true path and stole away many of my wildfire flock. Deserters. Traitors. Heretics. I need that pilot light back. I will give you whatever I can if you help. Where are they? See? written in our revered script. It calls for all stragglers wishing to save themselves from the damnation of Deep Friar to follow him. All right, unlocks the blowtorch sideburner upgrade. I wanted to... Here's another thing that we can do. Oil well. Okay, good. So now we refuel when we come here. The sky is so beautiful in this game. <laughs> As opposed to everything else. Alright, so I want to go into our garage now and I want to install some upgrades. I don't understand what I have to do. I've gotten Chum's Holy Wrench. Unless I have to buy this one first? Yes, I do. Okay. That's dumb. Alright. So now, 70% faster repairs. And we can start upgrading the V8. Oh my gosh, it's expensive. Yeah, it's going to cost like... 15,000 to upgrade that V8 all the way. That is obscene. I can't even afford the first upgrade at this rate. So there really is um, there really is no shortage here. We've got most of the upgrades though. Like it's really just pouring into the V8. You must hurry. The old man is kind and knows things. We saw a huge cloud of fire. We have to check out this map or something here. Script reads off. In the darkest hour, the believer standing upon the sacred sand will behold the true light. Meaning? 
darkest hour must be when the sun sleeps in the ground and blackness reigns. By sacred sand, he means the burning mound. I'm sure of it. Which is where? I see you have a map. I can read these symbols. Let me mark it. Night time. Burning mound. Look for a light. I'll see what I can do. All right, we're going to head to the Burning Mound area. All right, and so our quest, um, the, our main quest takes us out here to the Dunes region, and our other quest out here to uh, Pink Eyes territory, which is easy enough to get to, tell, to fast travel over here. We're going to put our uh, last few upgrades in that we need. Uh, I do need to finish upgrading Max's abilities. And whatnot. Not that it's really important, but I'm sure there's some kind of achievement if I upgrade everything Max can do all the way. So we're going to go into Max here. We've got everything there, and this is where this comes in. I hate that it exits you out every time and you have to go all the way back in. All right. Yep. There's our achievement, which is <laughs> it's 50 achievement points. That's no slouch achievement right there. And let's see what kind of new looks we can get for Max here. Let's see. Well, he looks a, a little more presentable than he does covered with all the grime and grit. Yeah, we'll just keep this. So our objective will be right here next to us, and... Uh, oh gosh, it's got to be nighttime, and that last mission made it daytime. Awesome. So, anyway, like I said last time, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Glad to have you along, and until next time, this is Savage Sasquatch for GamingReportCard.com, and I am out of here.